everyone. I'm Janet Miranda in News and Entertainment. Really excited to be here today at the historic Belmore Movies and Showplace located in Nassau County of Long Island in Belmore, New York. We're here for the 22nd annual Long Island International Film Expo where over 150 films ranging from features to shorts to documentaries and animation are being screened for audiences and celebrities worldwide. We're going to show you guys some exclusive interviews from the winners of this amazing film expo. So please stay tuned to see more in news and entertainment. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, what are you waiting for? We're bringing you the best in news entertainment. So go ahead, click like and subscribe. I'm Janet Miranda, your host at News and Entertainment. Hi guys, it's Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. I'm really excited to be here today at the 22nd annual International Long Island Film Festival, yes? Yep. And you are? I am Max Hechtman. Max Hechtman, and he just won an award for Best Documentary. Yeah. Tell us what your documentary is about. Uh, the documentary's name is Stories of Strength and Hope Preventing Youth Suicide. <gasps> That's amazing. Good for you. Yes. So you're helping people in the world. Yep, I am. And uh, it deals with most of the up-to-date statistics about how much the rates have been going up in terms of youth suicide. The warning. People, stop killing yourselves. What's going on? What's happening? And uh, Wait a second. Does your documentary say why they're doing it? Um, some of it is related to social media. Some of it is related to drugs or alcohol. Wait, don't tell us too much because we're going to have to watch no. your film. What's the name of the film? Stories of Strength and Hope Preventing Youth Suicide. And where can we find it online? It will be released online next week on my YouTube and Vimeo pages. Which are? Which are just my name. <laughs> and that is? Max Hechtman. H-E-C-H-T-M-A-N. And I'm Janet Miranda, M-I-R-A-N-D-A. And this is newsandentertainment.com. So guys, stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up at the YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And of course, go check us out at www.newsandentertainment.com. Yes? Yes. Stay tuned. I lost my son Ryan to suicide on October 7, 2003. I've been an advocate for suicide prevention and bullying prevention ever since his death. The mission of Ryan's story is just to visit as many schools as I can throughout the United States uh, to tell his life story and to hopefully inspire young people to either stop bullying or stand up to bullying or ask for help if they are being bullied. The goal is to try to reach young people who perhaps are feeling the way Ryan felt and get them to make a better decision than the one that Ryan made. I've had depression for eight years. I was diagnosed in seventh grade, but it was just a buildup of going from sixth grade to seventh grade was a really big adjustment. That's when it was triggered, and um, it just kind of worsened throughout the years because I isolated myself. I refused to reach out for help for a lot of years because I was afraid of the stigma that's unfortunately so prominent today. 90% of those teenagers have a psychiatric disorder. The leading cause of death for kids between the ages of 14 and 24 is accidents. And the second one is homicide, and the third one is suicide. Want to see more videos? Subscribe to our YouTube News and Entertainment channel. Click right below. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. And you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.